A lot of you know that I published a book entitled Edwin Edwards, the Governor of Louisiana. It's all about this guy right here. It's become the biggest selling book in the history of Louisiana. Governor, look, you're certainly not a has-been, but you're a little older. You've not been elected for 16, 17 years. Why does your story command the attention of being the biggest selling book in the history of Louisiana? I think, first of all, it's, it's an accurate history of what has happened in our state for the past 40 years. And it's a good reference for people who are interested in what happened here. And I hope that 50 years from now, when people are looking up or, or trying to get back into time to see what was happening, they will use this book as a reference. Other thing is, for one reason or the other, I was a very controversial person, and people, good and bad, like or don't like, are still interested in me, and that's the reaction I get from the crowds as I go around the state, and I'm very grateful for the wonderful, warm reception people give me. Well, it's certainly been overwhelming, and, uh, uh, and, and you know, let me ask you about this. I've seen some recent polls where if you ran for governor again, you'd win. You'd win pretty substantially. Uh, how does that make you feel after all you've gone through? Unbelievable. To think that I could come out of prison and get that kind of reception and support from people is just a testimony to how gracious and wonderful and kind people are. And I, I, there's no way I could adequately express my gratitude. But you're right, uh, and i tell you what, I'm kind of glad I can't run because if I could, I think I would, and I would probably get elected. And then you'd be stuck with it. Huh? Yeah. Look what I got. One more question to you. I get some very gracious comments that I've uh, held my age okay. I'm 71, but at your age, and you know, you made no bones about the fact that you're 84 years old, just had a big birthday celebration. What's your secret? I mean, you must work out with a personal trainer three hours a day. You must be a vegan like Bill Clinton is right now. What's the secret to living a long life? Well, I, I, first of all, I have good genes. My mother and father both came from large families, and all of the, their siblings lived to ripe old age. Uh, my, one of my grandmothers lived to 102, my grandfather to 99, my mother to 96, and so on, and that's, that's very important. Second, I'm a big believer in water. I drink a lot of water every day, and I eat a lot of fresh vegetables, but I think the most important thing is no tobacco, no illicit drugs, and no... Yes. <laughs> and, and no... Uh, I like to say there's no carbonated drinks. Okay. And I mean, I, you're not, you don't drink, do you? As, I, as far as alcohol. I, I, I never have yeah, drunk right. alcohol at all. I, I, I've tasted beer. I've tasted vodka. I, I know what it tastes like, but I have not drunk the equivalent of a can of beer in my whole life. And I'm not going around... Pro uh, preaching about that, but I think I, I really think that cigarettes and illicit dope and alcohol will in time take its toll on Oh, yeah, it takes some years off your life. Right. We're here in Vidalia, Louisiana, my old stomping grounds, where the mayor has put this book signing on. The, the line has been out the door in terms of people selling books. So your book has got a lot of life to it. Are you going to be traveling the state a good bit? What's your plans over the next three or four months? Oh, yes. I'm For the rest of the year, I'm, I must have at least 30 different places. I plan to visit every section of the state. Uh, I know off the top of my head I'll be in Shreveport on the 15th of September. I will be in Monroe sometimes in October, in Lake Charles, in Hammond. Just every area of the state where there's a metropolitan area where enough people would express an interest to meet me and greet me and I, I just enjoy meeting old friends and reminiscing about better times. Well, Governor, best of luck to you and I hope you, you sell a lot more books. Thank you, Jim. Thanks for spending some time with us. Since I have to pay you to publish them, I'm sure you do wish <laughs> okay. that. Okay. All right.